In this video, we're going to take a look at the even root property and the odd root property. This first example, x to the fifth equals 32, we're going to try and solve for x. And because we have an odd exponent, this is what we call the odd root property. And the idea is the opposite of raising something to a fifth power is to take a fifth root of both sides of the equation. Because fifth power and fifth root are opposites, we'll just be left with the x on the left side. Then we can quickly look at the fifth root of 32, or what number to the fifth power is equal to 32. We can find that by either factoring 32 or a little guess and check, and we find out that 2 to the fifth power is 32. And so our x in this original equation must be equal to 2. This is the odd root property. We can simply take the root that matches the index, I'm sorry, the root that matches the exponent to clear an exponent because roots and exponents are opposites. The even root property, though, has one slight adjustment that we need to be aware of. The process is exactly the same. To get rid of a fourth power, we'll take a fourth root of both sides. And we're asking ourselves, what number to the fourth power is equal to 16? That's what fourth root of 16 means. Well, with a little guess and check, the obvious result is that we get 2 to the 4th power equals 16. But that's not the only thing that, when raised to the 4th power, gives us 16. There's also another value, negative 2. The even exponent gets rid of the negative, and then 2 to the 4th would be 16. So there's actually 2 possible results for the fourth root of 16. x could equal positive 2, or x could equal negative 2. And the way we'll usually write this is we'll kind of shorthand it to plus or minus 2, meaning x is either positive 2 or negative 2. And this is the even root property, is any time we're solving an equation with an even exponent, we will need a plus or minus as we clear that exponent. It's a very important property. Even exponents are going to generate that plus or minus two solutions. So that's how we can solve equations with exponents. They're going to get a little more complex as we go forward, but for now, to get rid of a fifth power, use a fifth root. To get rid of a fourth power, use a fourth root. And remember, if it's an even exponent, we'll have two solutions, plus or minus.